So we denote the density of the liquid as rho. Uh, the rate of liquid flowing in the calorimeter as mu. Rate of flow. Um, then C as the specific heat of the liquid. Uh, then the rate of heat flow as P. So this is the rate of heat flow. So this is rate of flow of liquid. And uh, the temperature change as delta T. So this is the temperature change. And uh, if we consider the time duration as dt, so this is time duration, then during the time interval, the amount of liquid being heated will be dm, which is equal to mu times rho times dt. So um, the energy that's required for the heating will be dq, which is equal to p times dt. So from here, we can actually replace p with uh, c times dm delta t, or uh, rather this quantity is equal to C times M times uh, DM times delta T. And so basically we're equating P times DT with C times DM times delta T. And uh, from there, so if we're wondering how we got DM, we see that uh, mu is the rate of flow of the liquid so in mu times dt that's the total amount of liquid that that uh, is been that is that flown now if we multiply the density with the amount of liquid that flow that uh, has flown uh, that gives us the total mass or that's that gives us the total change in mass so that that's been heated so from here, if we equate these two quantities, we see that uh, we have C times mu delta T times dt. So we got that from uh, this expression. So from here, we can solve for C, which is P divided by rho times mu times delta T which uh, using the numbers, we have 250 watts for the rate of heat flow. Then rho is eight times 10 to the power minus six meter cubed divided by uh, meter cubed per second. Mu is 0 0.85 times 10 to the power three kg meter cubed. And finally, delta T is 15, oops, 15 degree Celsius. So that gives us 2.5 times 10 to the power 3 joules per kg degree Celsius, which is 2.5 times 10 to the power 3 joules per kg Kelvin. And the reason we can do that is because the numerical uh, difference of Celsius and Kelvin are same. All right, thanks for watching. 